you already corrected me. It's not a tweeter. No. What is it? <laughs> it's compression driver. Uh, imagine just a regular speaker radiates into the air. Um, so output impedance of the radiating diaphragm is much higher than the loading impedance of the air. That's why lots of energy just wasted on mechanical movement of the diaphragm without turning into sound waves. If we put uh, like a screen uh, instead of in, in front of the diaphragm and we make a smaller hole for radiation, we immediately increase the loading and efficiency goes up tremendously. If yeah, and then we have to apply the horn so yeah, that to right. yeah radiate lower frequencies. And if regular speaker, a regular woofer, for example, has efficiency about one to five. Uh, percent compression driver is about 50. It's a huge difference. Wow, difference between compression driver and horn driver. So, device uh, transducer is a compression driver. We applied the horn to it, it's a horn driver. Okay, sure. so two reasons one is the high efficiency, high sensitivity. So, you don't need much power to get a uh, high uh, output sound pressure output level. And second is we can control the coverage, sound pressure coverage, by using different horns. By coverage, you mean sp spatially? <laughs> spatially, yes, yeah, spatially. Distribution of sound energy over space. So, which regular tweeter just radiates as is, and there is no control, basically. Right, and you hope that your horn does something. Right, it does actually. But a lot. you hope yeah. it does it better than, than yeah. just a single driver. So, sure. in a 305, what do we see? Uh, we see um, five, six, eight we see a special horn of the special shape which was designed here and patented here it controls very accurately precisely the coverage sound field in other words sound field in the recording studio that's what it is but is it a compression driver yeah this one doesn't use for, compression for three series no three series, for seven series three for series sure. actually is a tweeter is it oh, great? Okay. <laughs> but horn loaded, nevertheless. Yes, it's got a dice. Horn loaded, one. yeah. So the waveguide that we see on the three series, on the seven series, it's a brand new inspiration. We just did a test at Cinema Sound with all of those speakers along with some competitors and had a fantastic response at 45 degrees, where I mean you're listening at 45 degrees and it's almost yeah. the same coverage. What is it about that design? It sort of looks like an X if you look at it straight on. Why does that work? There's there's a tremendous amount of very complicated math behind how that horn was designed, but the, the goal and intention was to make sure that the, the dispersion was as, as even and neutral as possible. Because particularly for recording broadcast, you're trying to always be true to what is, what is coming out of the console without coloring the sound at all. Um, we, we believe that a loudspeaker should be a reference to preserve the art, not to be become part of the art. So, mm -hmm. so we we always try to to, to become a, a reference and, and be as neutral as possible. And that the the math of, of how that waveguide is is controlled is is trying to make sure that all those frequencies are are falling at the same rate um, in in the in the horizontal and vertical in those in those areas. Even if you're